Wales has a diverse population, but this is not always reflected in public life. As a government, we're committed to doing everything possible in order to improve the diversity of our public leaders, including the diversity of public appointments. We must make the most of the wealth of talent, knowledge and creativity across our diverse communities, and in doing so, ensure that our public appointment opportunities are promoted more widely across the country and that individuals wishing to undertake these roles are offered the support and development to succeed. And that's why I'm delighted to have launched the Diversity and Inclusion Strategy for Public Appointments in Wales. This strategy is about reflecting Wales in running Wales and it focuses on appointments to boards of regulated bodies, but we hope the principles will be adopted by non-regulated bodies too. In Wales, we have become better at recruiting women to boards, but we know we need to do more to attract disabled people and those from ethnic minority communities to apply and obtain board positions. Our initial work will focus in particular on helping disabled people and those from ethnic minority communities to achieve board positions. And we will do this by raising awareness of the opportunities available through targeted outreach work and by developing mentoring and shadowing schemes, coaching people so they're ready to apply for and obtain board positions. We will also review the recruitment process to ensure it is as inclusive as possible. Implementing the strategy is a key priority if we are to achieve greater diversity on our boards. Unless we change what we do, we will not achieve different results. I'm committed to driving forward an inclusive culture across public boards in Wales. Last year, I highlighted that the number of people from ethnic minority backgrounds appointed to roles in public life here in Wales was simply not good enough. So I'm delighted that the diversity and inclusion strategy for public appointments in Wales has now been launched. 3% of people from black, Asian and minority ethnic communities have been recruited to public appointments in Wales. We need to do better, not only for those from minority ethnic communities themselves, but also for disabled people who are woefully underrepresented on the boards of our public bodies. One of the aims of this new strategy is to build a pipeline of interested individuals who can be mentored, coached and supported so they're ready to apply and obtain a board position. And that for me is really welcome. The Ethnic Minorities and Youth Support Team has a mentoring scheme in place for young people from ethnic minority communities. We need to ensure that similar schemes are in place for people from other underrepresented groups too. As the Health Minister, I'm keen to see a much greater diversity on the boards of our health trusts and local health boards. That will help us to make decisions that better reflect the needs of our citizens right across Wales. I'll be reinforcing that message again to the chairs of local health boards and trusts, and I hope that they will work with us to achieve this change, and I absolutely believe they will. In Wales, we've already increased the number of women on boards and I'm confident that we can do the same for other underrepresented groups. So let's ensure that we reflect Wales in running Wales.